All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a while. I've uh, been pretty busy doing other stuff, but I figured I'd uh, get back into some more videos. I'm here actually with one of my friends. He has this beautiful uh, car right behind us. And he's gonna talk a little bit more about the car. So uh, why don't you start off? What's your name and uh, what car do you have right here behind us? Uh, my name's Kevin and it's a 2018 Audi S3. Okay, cool. So I guess starting off then with this car, uh, what modifications do you have done to the car currently and what do you plan to do going into the future with this car? So I've had it for like three, four months now. Um, Airlift performance bags, rotor to form INDTs for the wheels. Um, engine, I just got Unitronic Stage 1 Plus. Um, In-gen intake and a uh, carbon fiber front lip right now. And I have a catalyst downpipe that's not on the car yet. Okay, nice. So uh, what plans do you have for this car for the future? So I want to finish up the downpipe. Um, go full stage two with Unitronic. Um, probably get a couple of diffusers, like rear diffuser, um, rear spoiler, duck bill. Um, and that's pretty much it for now, um, as far as that goes. A couple, probably like engine bolt-ons, but nothing too major right now, because I want to keep it at like a, where I could take it out and drive it occasionally, not like it's too too built for like street use or anything. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha, yeah. Uh, so just, I guess, tell me a little bit more about your car history. What cars have you owned? What cars have you modified? You know, stuff like that. Where did it all begin for you? Yeah, so um, I've had, my first car was a 2004 Jetta, Mark okay. Jetta. Um, I was 17. <laughs> and then I did like stupid modifications to that, coilovers, things like that. That's really where it ended. Um, and then I got a Mark VI GLI when I was like 19. And that was the first car I put bags on. Okay. Tuned, that was basically where it ended with that car. Um, sold that and got a 2004 R32, Tornado Red. Put bags on that too. Um, that was just exhaust tune basically. Had that car for a while and then I started working at Volkswagen and I got the Mark 7 PTI. Okay. And then that's when I really, really started getting into like heavy modifications. Did like um, full bolt ons, uh, turbo swap, uh, bags, wheels. I wrapped that car. Every single body piece that you could get for skirts, rear wing, everything like that. Um, and then I traded that in for a 2017 Daytona. Did a bin buffer delete on that, but that was all I did for that. Okay. Um, great car, kind of too big for me, so I really didn't like it being with German and everything like that. It was kind of cheap, in my opinion. Gotcha. But it was a great car. Um, and then I traded that car in for this. Okay. Uh, three, four months ago, and that's where we're at with this one. Nice. So as you've already said, you've already said what you've you know, done to this car, everything like that. Obviously, you enjoy the car. Yeah, love the car. Okay. Um, Out of all the cars you've owned, what has been your favorite car you've owned? So the Charger was really fun. Um, as far as like power goes and unique, it was really fun to drive, but overall, this one would have to be the best because you can get, basically like with the stage one tune, you're almost at what the power is for the charger, Okay. Um, to the wheels, and you still get things like all-wheel drive, you don't have to worry about like rear-wheel drive, and then obviously the interior and everything like that, overall part, you get into this and drive it around all the time, and everything is, to me, 10 out of 10, okay. compared to where the charger and other cars like lack small things, nothing major, but overall. Just more, I guess refined or German quality yeah. like how everyone usually yeah, says. Yeah, like everything is good, like handling, power-wise, drivability, smooth car, interior is 10 out of 10. Cool. Okay. I guess now currently this car, what do you think the power puts down on the car? Like I know you said you got a stage one plus yeah. tune, so I guess you can just go off of that. What is that numbers like? Yeah, so it should be somewhere around 370 horsepower, 350, 360 torque to the wheels. Right okay. around there. I didn't dyno or anything like that. Um, with the downpipe down and everything, it should be right around those numbers. Obviously, it's going to vary, but... Okay. And then, how much uh, do you think you've spent, I guess, in all the years, you know, you've been modifying cars? Like, obviously, you know, it's definitely been a decent amount of money, but do you regret doing that at all, or would you do it all over again? Um, it's been a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've never kept track, but it's probably at least twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 in modifications. Um, I don't regret it. I may have done certain things differently, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't go back and not do certain things, but I would change some things on how I do it. But, okay. But yeah, I had a good time doing it, so. That's awesome. I guess then, thinking more about the community, the car community in general, you know, it's a very big, uh, important community. I, I love being in the car community. I love going out and seeing people, meeting people, all that. What do you really love most about the car community? Um, car community, I guess it varies from brand to brand. 
but specifically Volkswagen and Audi, everyone is like really welcoming and really nice. We say hi to each other on the streets, things like that. Um, obviously, there's a lot of Volkswagen and Audi events to go to, like water festivals this weekend. Um, so it's nice to have people that like you could talk to, and they're not going to be like mean or anything like that. Dude. Yeah. If you don't have certain things a certain way. Um, but it's nice to be able to have people that you can talk to and relate to things and enjoy things together. Yeah. In the in, in the car community, especially Volkswagen. All right. Cool. Cool. So I guess uh, to wrap it up, like future goals. Like obviously, you know, you've owned a bunch of cars. Do you plan on keeping this car forever? Do you have any like dreams? Like, what do you really want to get one day for a car? And what would you want to do? Yeah. So um, right now, I'm probably going to keep this one for a while. But definitely not my dream car. I would love to get into like an R8 V10 or, yep. or like a 911. Okay. But for now, it's definitely not something I can afford. So I, I don't have a problem with this car at all. Yeah, you'll, you'll get there eventually. Yeah. You know? All right, cool. So I guess, you know, this was a quick little uh, video on, you know, Kevin's car, everything he's done to the car, kind of what his viewpoint is, how he's enjoyed the car community, and how, you know, he's grown over the years with everything in the cars. So. You know, if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more videos, please, you know, hit the subscribe button. Please like the video. Um, if you actually really want and you're in kind of the local area, you want me to do one of these videos, just, you know, DM me on Instagram. Um, I'll actually, you know, come out. We can do one of these videos all together. So I'll also link Kevin's Instagram uh, in the description below and my Instagram so you guys can, you know, go follow us and figure out what's going on with everything. So until next time, guys, thank you again, and I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, yeah.